Culture's first club event of 2019. This evening we're going to be talking about creativity. How important is kind of creativity at the heart of a commercial business? So when you've looked at, you know, launching uh, Tesco Bank, now what you're doing, um, how do you, how do you, do you think that creative is, a, is an important part of that? I don't think creativity is something that's specific to a commercial entity or a artistic one or something in the world of culture um, in general. I think it's, a, it's an essential element of making progress. The great myth for me is that creativity is some form of kind of divine inspiration because I don't think it is. I think it's a process and right. creativity where I think it's at its best is a journey. I guess the overriding principle and, and building on the comments earlier is creativity is, is just all about being curious. It's about uncluttering your mind and actually saying, how can I do this differently? Why in this age of kind of science and data analysis, I talked about in my introduction, this whole thing about obsession with technology and data, and um, why is the art of marketing still important? I think it's because um, we often forget that we're human beings because we're human beings that don't make logical decisions. We act on soul and emotion and imagination and the power of just entertaining, just capturing someone's imagination. I think we lose to a degree. If you don't cut through, if you don't capture, nothing else kind of really matters. One of the, the advantages, I suppose, of being uh, having been sort of broadcast side was, I suppose, focus on audience and what you're trying to say. Uh, what you're trying to say uh, to who? Why are you saying it? Where are they? Is it truthful? Does it have integrity? Does it feel honest? To what Keris was saying, it is about how are you making, how do you want people to feel? I do this the whole time, and you know, it's an incredibly unscientific way to gauge. Think you're a bit odd. They think I'm really odd and <laughs> think I'm touching myself, which I'm not. Uh, but it's a really, uh, it's a really, what's it called, a visceral uh, reaction, I think, when you hear an idea, and it's in whatever form, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter whether it's in a film form, whether it's an experience, whether it's a bit of tech, you just get excited. Why is, why do you think you don't challenge clients sometimes? Is it the clients as well? Because I would say, mm. I often see that too. Defining what a collective sense of creativity is, what the collective ambition is, um, and also, and again, this is a cliche, is the strength of the relationship, because you're building trust. Creativity doesn't come out of the wrong type of pressure and stress. Um, it, you have to show confidence, you have to show trust, and you have to create a sense of optimism and positivity in a sense you're in a collective endeavour. Um, and I think the frank conversations I've had where things aren't working um, is people say, do you trust us? Do you believe in us? Creativity can only be at its best when you have the opportunity to be open and honest and transparent. I absolutely believe completely it is all about trust. It's all about clarity. It's creating the conditions of success but then having that confidence to find the right partner and go for it. Does highly creative work come at the expense of profitability? If so, how do you find the border between risk and pushing the boundaries? You know, you can really have the most logically pragmatic call to action, those cheap and nasty ads that you see that just no one actually responds to. So I, I don't believe that for a moment. I believe you have to do something that captures the imagination of the audience. Yes, there needs to be a call to action at times because it does need to pay the bills, especially if it's a, a campaign which is, a, is, a, is a, a response campaign. So if you had to sum up the one thing that you co would concentrate on when you're uh, trying to make creativity work for your organisation, what, what is the one thing that you say to your teams that's really vital and important? is the essence of what we do and it is um, it, it's our it's our magic and we have to believe in it and we have to be confident in it uh, and uh, otherwise we haven't really got a right to turn up. Um, I think it's two things one is um, to be bolder than you think you might need to be but to be more focused um, big thing for us is a, is a is a bit of, is a bit more focus. I often tell my team uh, that I don't know the key to succeed but one sure way to fail is to please everyone and mm. that's the most dangerous kind of creativity pleasing yep. everyone yep um, i would implore people to think for themselves and say what they think out loud thank you all very much um, for this evening thank you very much <laughs>